Hello YouTube, it's RJ the West here. So today we're going to cover the JB700W. We're going to see how this vehicle works in the hands of the NPCs and GT Online's capture creator. Alright, so in the hands of the NPCs, the machine guns work okay. As you may have noticed, they're shooting in like controlled bursts. That's actually because I gave the NPC a regular machine gun. And I will show you guys in a bit what would happen if you have to give the NPC a minigun and put him in this car. Alright guys, so I equipped the NPC with a minigun. And you guys are immediately noticing a significant difference here. Also, with all the other vehicles I've previously covered on this channel, vehicles similar to the JVW, I'm just going to call it the JVW, and um, they have like a 160 degree aim, allowing them to actually shoot as long as they're within your line of sight. They'll be able to hit you. Alright, moving on to the next test. Alright guys, so for this test I decided to set up the, the JB car versus the weaponized Ignis. Now for this test, all NPCs and vehicles have default health and medium accuracy. Oh, okay. I'm... Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm a little... Ow. Sorry about that. Now, even though that the... The JB700W has 160-degree aim. Oh, wow. Doesn't make it any less efficient against a vehicle that has 360-degree aim. But they're, they're doing all right. All right, we're going to move on to the next test. All right, so for here, guys, I want to see how effective the JB700W is up against a light fighter aircraft, such as the Havoc. I'm going to go ahead and um, aggro them real quick and get out of their range. Now, keep in mind, just like the previous test, all vehicles have default health and all NPCs have medium accuracy for maximum standard control. Just love how they all spread out and go one on one. Well, actually, that one's over there. It's got three helicopters on him. Due to the lack of fire rate, the JB may not be as effective against aircraft. If I gave the, the drivers the minigun, it would be a different story. Alright, um... We're going to go ahead and move to the next test. Alright guys, so for this test, I'm going to do an, an, uh, an infantry test. And um, this test is going to see how effective the JB700 is going to be up against infantry. 
this test is actually a good way to determine how easily the occupant can get shot out of their vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and run a quick scenario here to see how effective the, the JV car is. Let me just go ahead and draw aggro oh for a sec. Go ahead and hide. The occupant is pretty vulnerable to getting shot out, but I would assume that the damage from the machine guns can also take out the infantry just as fast. I'm literally being shot just through my wall here. Let's say, dude, uh, I don't know how much damage those machine guns can do to infantry, but it looks like they're winning. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next test. Alright, so for this upcoming test, I'm gonna see how effective the JV car is up against advanced infantry. When I say advanced, I mean they're carrying better quality weapons like the marksman rifle, homing launcher, combat machine gun oh that's not the one with the combat machine gun but you guys get what i'm saying we're gonna see how effective they are up against advanced infantry now again do keep in mind all these npcs have medium accuracy Oh, that was cool. As soon as she got up, she took that lady right out. Even with better quality weapons, the infantry is still getting destroyed over here. That concludes this test. Hey guys, so after we covered for the JB uh, weaponized vehicle, we're going to see how effective it is up against a small mixture of weaponized vehicles as well. Just go ahead and aggro them and get out of their way. You guys think it'd be easier for the James Bond car to take out the thrusters? <laughs> As opposed to the Havocs? Oh, we just lost a JV car over here. There goes another one. Now, here's the thing though all of these vehicles have default health. In this test. Hmm. 
take a better look over there. I'd say the James Bond car isn't exactly as effective against the thrusters, let alone the Tampas. I'm not saying it's a bad vehicle though. So to summarize it, in the hands of the NPCs, the JB 700W is not a bad vehicle to give them in your capture jobs. And um, it's not the best vehicle, but it's not the worst either. Other than that, take care everybody.